Good afternoon, everybody. We'll get started. Um, so welcome to uh, NQA's webinar. Uh, we will be looking at uh, giving you a HACCP overview this afternoon. For those of you who are not familiar with NQA, uh, we are a certification body. We have um, critical locations in China, India, the UK and the US. We have over 50,000 certificates globally um, and we, we have 100% inclusive fees in the UK, over 1,000 employees worldwide. We offer certification and training services in the sectors on the screen. Uh, today we are focusing on food safety. We offer a range of training courses um, delivered by, via a virtual learning, e-learning, in-house training and also public training at nationwide locations within the UK. So the webinar for today, uh, my name is Maria. Um, I am the Food Certification Manager at NQA. I've worked in the certification industry, uh, specializing in food safety and the food chain for over 18 years. Uh, my role as food certification manager is to oversee the accreditation and certification of NQA's food safety management system standards um, and I look after this globally uh, whilst ensuring technical knowledge and changes within the industry are cascaded uh, accordingly. The webinar today is a short one, um, it'll be no longer than 15 to 20 minutes. If you have questions, please put them in the chat box. Um, depending on uh, the nature of the question, uh, we'll either try and answer those as we go along or we can do question and answer at the end. Uh, and a recording of this webinar will be circulated uh, shortly. So what will you learn today? So you will receive an overview of the general principles of food hygiene code of practice. Um, I will give you some tips and techniques for managing the requirements um, and then any interpretations of new or updated requirements. What is HACCP? HACCP is science-based and systematic, identifies specific hazards and measures for their control to ensure the safety of food. HACCP is a tool to assess hazards and establish control systems that focus on prevention rather than relying mainly on end product testing. The HACCP principles are incorporated into the Codex Alimentarius Code of Practice general principles for food hygiene and this is applicable to all organizations within the food chain and you can download this from the WHO website. So looking at the actual code of practice itself, um, so starting with definition section, this is often a section that people um, don't read. Uh, it's important to understand the meaning of some of the terminology used. Um, so make sure that you have a look at this um, definition section before you try to understand the, the HACCP principles. The code of practice itself is laid out into two chapters. Chapter one is the good hygiene practices, which we commonly refer to as GMP. Chapter two is the hazard 
analysis, critical control point, HACCP system guidelines and for its and its application. So these are the HACCP principles. So as I mentioned um, before, uh, GMP, GHP, what is it we're talking about? So within the food industry, we often refer to GMP, uh, good manufacturing practice. Um, it's, a, it's a term that's widely recognised and understood. But when referring to food safety, it's increasingly being replaced by the concept of GHP, good hygiene practice. Um, and for organisations who are not manufacturing, it, this, it makes this term more relatable. For example, uh, the HACCP principles uh, and the, the code of practice is applicable for everybody within the food chain. Uh, so for somebody that's doing transport and storage, for example, not manufacturing, it makes this section applicable to them. So the HACCP principles are, principle one, uh, conduct a hazard analysis and identify your control measures. Principle two, determine the critical control points. Principle three, establish validated critical limits. Four, establish a system to monitor control of CCPs. Five, Establish the corrective actions to be taken when monitoring indicates a deviation from a critical limit at a CCP has occurred. Principle six, validate the HACCP plan and then establish procedures for verification to confirm that the HACCP system is working as intended. Principle seven, establish documentation concerning all procedures and records appropriate to these principles and their application. So how do we approach um, establishing, creating a HACCP plan? The, the first thing that you need to do is create a flow diagram of the activities that you carry out and ensure you consult all levels of the organisation to make sure that you capture all steps of the processes. Once you've conducted your flow diagram, identify, identify all possible food safety hazards at each step. Don't worry if your flow diagram is becoming too large. You can always consolidate it later on. Once you have done this, you can then work through the HACCP principles. You can put your hazards through a decision tree and you can determine uh, which ones will be CCPs, how they will be controlled, how they will be monitored and verified. Once you have done this, you can then go right the way back to the beginning and you can work through chapter one. If you're looking um, at progressing to a certification, whether that be HACCP certification, uh, ISO 22000, FSSC, or whether you're integrating it into your 9001 management system, be sure to conduct internal audits. Uh, somebody independent of the process would be best placed to conduct this. Ensure you have HACCP team meetings. Um, have these regularly, uh, but also make sure that you have HACCP team meetings after every change to your system. Once this is all established, then go for certification. And which certification you go for really depends on the size of your organisation, who your customers are and what their requirements are. Ensure that you continually improve your system. Uh, remember that food safety hazards are changing all the time. 
always look for ways to improve. Majority of the time, not all hazards are eliminated. Therefore, can the controls be improved? An example is that we never saw the global pandemic could affect food safety, but organisations have had to adapt working processes and procedures to meet COVID secure requirements. Think about what was the impact relating to managing food safety hazards, uh, or did this way, new way of working create new hazards? On our website, we have a, have a range of uh, food safety training courses. Uh, these are offered in partnership with another training organisation. Be sure to have a look at these. And we also have some advanced training courses um, which would help you in, in your certification journey. And I told you it would be quick and we are at the end. So if, if there are any questions, I will answer those now. Um, if not, you will have my email address with the recording. So please feel free to give me a, an email directly. There are no questions. So um, thank you for attending. Ending. I hope this gave you a, an insight to the overview of HACCP um, and good luck on your HACCP journey.